Friday After Ash Wednesday Prayer In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, Heavenly Father, look upon me and hear my prayer during this holy season of Lent. O gracious Master, infuse in our hearts the spotless light of your divine wisdom and open the eyes of our mind that we may understand the teachings of your gospel. Instill in us also the fear of your blessed commandments, so that having curbed all carnal desires, we may lead a spiritual life, both thinking and doing everything to please you. For you, O Christ, our God, are the enlightenment of our souls and bodies, and to you we render glory together with your eternal Father and with your all-holy, life-creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Friday After Ash Wednesday Prayer Lord, I know how much you love me. It's hard for me to feel it sometimes, but I know your love is always with me. Help me to use your love as a way to persevere in my Lenten intentions. I am weak, but I know, with your help, I can use these small sacrifices in my life to draw closer to you. Dear Lord Jesus, by your passion and resurrection, you brought life to the world. But the glory of the resurrection came only after the sufferings of the passion you laid down your life willingly and gave up everything for us. Your body was broken and fastened to a cross. Your clothing became the prize of soldiers. Your blood ebbed slowly but surely away and your mother was entrusted to the beloved disciple. Stretched out on the cross, deprived of all earthly possessions and human aid, you cried out to your father that the end had come. You had accomplished the work given you, and you committed into his hands, as a perfect gift, the little life that remained to you. Lord, teach me to accept all afflictions after the example you have given. Let me place my death in yours, and my weakness in your abandonment. Take hold of me with your love, that same foolish love that knew no limits and let me offer myself to the Father with you, so that I may rise with you to eternal life. Dear Lord, we are now in the holy season of Lent. We begin to realize anew that these are the days of salvation, these are the acceptable days. We know that we are all sinners. We know that in many things, we have all offended your infinite majesty. We know that sin destroys your life in us as a drought withers the leaves and chokes the life from the land, leaving an arid, dusty desert. Help us now, Lord, in our feeble attempts to make up for past sin. Bless our efforts with a rich blessing of your grace. Make us realize ever more our need of penance and of mortification. Help us to see, in our ordinary difficulties and duties, in the trials and temptations of every day, the best opportunity of making up for past infidelities. Every day we are so often reminded in field and wood, in sky and stream, of your own boundless generosity to us. Help us to realize that you are never outdone in generosity and that the least thing we do for you will be rewarded, full measure, pressed down, shaken together and flowing over. Then we shall see, in our own souls, 
how the desert can blossom and the dry and wasted land can bring forth the rich, useful fruit that was expected of it from the beginning. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given the human race, Jesus Christ, our Savior, as a model of humility. He fulfilled your will by becoming man and giving his life on the cross. Help us to bear witness to you by following his example of suffering and make us worthy to share in his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. God, Heavenly Father, look upon me and hear my prayer during this holy season of Lent. By the good works you inspire, help me to discipline my body and to be renewed in spirit. Without you, I can do nothing. By your Spirit, help me to know what is right and to be eager in doing your will. Teach me to find new life through penance. Keep me from sin and help me live by your commandment of love. God of love, bring me back to you. Send your Spirit to make me strong in faith and active in good works. May my acts of penance bring me your forgiveness, open my heart to your love, and prepare me for the coming feast of the resurrection of Jesus. Lord, during this Lenten season, nourish me with your word of life and make me one with you in love and prayer. Fill my heart with your love and keep me faithful to the gospel of Christ. Give me the grace to rise above my human weakness. Give me new life by your sacraments, especially the Mass. Father, our source of life, I reach out with joy to grasp your hand. Let me walk more readily in your ways. Guide me in your gentle mercy, for left to myself I cannot do your will. Father of love, source of all blessings, help me to pass from my old life of sin to the new life of grace. Prepare me for the glory of your kingdom. I ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever. Amen. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, during the holy season of Lent, you call us to a closer union with yourself. Help me to prepare to celebrate the Paschal Mystery with mind and heart renewed. Give me a spirit of loving reverence for you, our Father, and of willing service to my neighbor. As I recall the great events that gave us new life in Christ, bring the image of your Son to perfection within my soul. This great season of grace is your gift to your family to renew us in spirit. Give me strength to purify my heart, to control my desires, and so to serve you in freedom. Teach me how to live in this passing world with my heart set on the world that will never end. I ask for the grace to master my sinfulness and conquer my pride. I want to show to those in need your goodness to me by being kind to all. Through my observance of Lent, help me to correct my faults and raise my mind to you, and thus grow in holiness, that I may deserve the reward of everlasting life. In your mercy, grant me this special favor. State your intentions here. The days of the life-giving death and glorious resurrection of Jesus Christ, your Son, are approaching. This is the hour when He triumphed over Satan's pride, the time when we celebrate the great event of our redemption. The suffering and death of your Son brought life to the whole world, moving our hearts to praise your glory. The power of the cross reveals your judgment on this world 
and the kingship of Christ crucified. Father, through his love for us and through his sufferings, death and resurrection, may I gain eternal life with you in heaven. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given the human race Jesus Christ our Savior as a model of humility. He fulfilled your will by becoming man and giving his life on the cross. Help us to bear witness to you by following his example of suffering and make us worthy to share in his resurrection through him who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost now and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sitteth at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.